Okay, you bunch of career criminals, I got a good one for you. Bernie Sanders is becoming more lovable to me by the day. This guy just dropped the fucking people's elbow on Lloyd Blockhead Blankfein. And if you don't know who that is, he was the CEO of Goldman Sachs during the Great Recession. And of course... Goldman Sachs crashed and burned just like the rest of the fucking banks on Wall Street and then came to the American people with their hand out just like capitalists always do. They take all the profits and then they fucking socialize the losses on us. We took care of them and they want to fucking whine about socialism. Well, you got a socialist bailout, guys. You sure didn't seem to mind it then. It wasn't a problem then. Well, he's been running his mouth to the wrong dude. And if you guys don't know, Bernie Sanders has a list of anti-endorsements, meaning big-time corporatists, imperialists, um, banksters, fossil fuel execs that fucking hate him and have come out and said, we will not support him at all. We will choose anyone over him. But he is the last person on planet Earth we fucking put our money behind. And good. We welcome their hatred. We need it for energy. That's what it is. Now, he went at Bernie Sanders, and I'm going to read you guys this short little thread because he ran his mouth. He wanted, to, he wanted to take a fucking swift little shot. Well, guess what? Lloyd shooting blanks, baby, because you didn't seem to understand who you were coming at. You poked a bear and you got bit. You play with the big dog, son. Now, Lloyd Blanks comes at this guy, comes at my boy Bernie Sanders. He says, don't know why Senator Sanders picks on a retiree like me. I think he's always looked down on me because he grew up in a fancier neighborhood in Brooklyn. Oh, well, look at that. Sorry. He's only spent fucking 77 years of his life helping people while you were fucking us over and leading us into a great recession. Thanks, Lloyd Blanks. <laughs> you fucking tool. Well, Bernie Sanders comes out and lays the hammer on him. He goes, actually, my concern has to do with the fact that you had no problem getting bailed out by working Americans while you've been picking on them by advocating for cutting Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. That's right, folks. Lloyd Blanks doesn't mind socialism when it bails out him and his bank. But when it comes to helping out Americans who actually pay into it, the working class who fucking makes everything in this country, makes everything happen, then he's got a problem. Because it's Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. Oh, but Bernie Sanders didn't stop there. Thankfully, he didn't stop there. During the Wall Street crash, an estimated 15 million families lost their homes. We bailed out Wall Street, all those banks, but we didn't bail out the homeowners. That's because of neoliberals. That's because of neoconservatives. That's because of the right wing controlling everything. That's because of corporatists and banksters and imperialists in the military industrial complex running everything. It's immoral. It's all about profit. It's not about people. You understand? These are all criminal rackets. And it revealed itself in 2008. Lloyd Blankfein didn't lose him, his home or his job, although he should have been in jail for life. His bank got an $824 billion taxpayer bailout, and Blankfein became a billionaire. So rather than being one of the boys on D-Block where you belong, you're a fucking billionaire. Huh, sounds fair. Because of the greed of banks like Goldman Sachs, Americans lost 13 trillion dollars in savings unbelievable and guys like him walk free should be in jail should be in when blank fine retired from goldman sachs he received a 50 million dollar retirement package that should be seized immediately in returned to the homeowners he fucking screwed over we should do everything we can to reimburse these good and fine working class Americans who got screwed over by scumbags like Lloyd Blankfein and Goldman Sachs and Lehman Brothers and J.P. Morgan and fucking Jamie Dimon and all these turds. 
Now, after being bailed out by taxpayers, Lloyd Blankfein lectured Congress to cut Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid benefits and raise their retirement age for working people. Wasn't that convenient? So after we build this country, after we fight and die for it, after we do every single thing that is needed to run the nation from the bottom to the top, we have some elitist prick like Lloyd Blanks, Lloyd Blockhead Blankfein who wants to tell us that we need to cut our fucking benefits that we earned? Those are ours, Lloyd Blanks. Not a chance, buddy. Take the L and move the fuck on. Now, he didn't stop there. He says, oh, let me let me fucking move over for you. Last last one, guys. Lloyd Blankfein owned not one but two mansions in the Hamptons, not two apartment flats. Not two little fucking bungalows or whatever the fuck they want to call them. Two mansions in the Hamptons. One wasn't enough? Wonder where else he's got some homes. Maybe we could fucking seize those too. How? Goldman Sachs lying to inve investors in profiting from millions of Americans losing their homes in an unbelievable fraud. It was a criminal racket. Bernie Sanders just called it out. Lloyd Blankfein and Goldman Sachs said Goldman Sachs does God's work. Let me repeat that. Lloyd Blankfein said Goldman Sachs does God's work. Is, is that what he called it when Goldman Sachs made millions pumping up the cost for food for starving people across the world? And then he posts something from Business Insider here just fucking eviscerating him on how they bas basically jacked up the prices on poor people and starving refugees and things like that. Shows you what kind of guy Lloyd Blanks is. A scumbag, a low-rent billionaire leech. A lifelong leech, really. Has he ever really worked a day in his life? I don't know. Is banking like that work when you're just stealing from people? I guess it's hard work stealing from people and getting away with it. I guess bribery and being a con man is real hard work, Lloyd Blanks. But hey, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders already dropped the fucking people's elbow on him. I just wanted to give him a little Hogan leg drop. You fucking know that's right.